Oh, hey there. I'm Amy Parker Williams with CNET UK, and this is the Sony Ericsson Xperia Ray. Sony Ericsson has placed the Xperia Ray slap bang in the middle of the Android battleground. It might lack the large display of the Xperia Arc, but it boasts a surprising amount of internal tech. There's an 8 megapixel camera with 720p video capability, as well as the fancy Exmor R for mobile sensor, which is brilliant at taking photos in dimly lit environments. The camera also offers an LED flash, smile detection and image stabilisation. We'd have liked a dedicated camera button somewhere on the phone, but I guess you can't have everything. Or can you? The Xperia Ray sports Android 2.3 Gingerbread, which is the latest flavour of Google's smartphone OS, and it offers a fantastic degree of functionality. But you'll also find that the Ray comes with the very latest version of Sony Ericsson's own user interface, Timescape. Timescape boasts new features on the Xperia Ray, such as XLoud volume boosting. This is really handy if you happen to cross paths with those stampede of elephants and you won't hear your phone's ringer. Timescape now also allows you to shake your phone and cause the widgets to float around. That's a neat party trick to show your iPhone owning mates, but it actually makes it harder to select the widget you want. The Ray's biggest flaw though has to be its 3.3 inch screen. Its small size seems quite strange in this era of monster handsets and apparently in Chris sizes too. While the resolution is fantastic and the image pin sharp, it's a display that's likely to cause large-handed people a massive amount of problems. If you're not disheartened by the tiny display though, then the Xperia Ray is an early Christmas present for you. The amount of stunning tech included is all wrapped up in a wafer-thin frame that will slip into any pocket and effortlessly down any chimney. The screen is vivid, bright and colourful and the Ray uses the mobile Bravia engine feature which offers enhanced images and better viewing in direct light. On the negative side, the long thin profile of the screen makes it feel rather cramped, especially when you're using the QWERTY option. Unusually for an Android phone, the Xperia Ray's default keyboard is alphanumeric. This is more than likely due to the small 3.3 inch screen. You can switch to full QWERTY keyboard if your hands desire this, but it's pretty awkward to use, especially if you possess chubby fingers. The Xperia Ray is a seriously dainty handset. With an overall thickness of 9.4mm and a weight of just 100 grams, it's one of those phones that will have you patting your whole body to check that it's still there. It's mainly made out of plastic with metal and rubberized areas also making an appearance. The metal lends the phone a touch of sophistication, while the plastic provides an ultra-grippy surface to ensure that accidental drops are kept to a bare minimum. The traditional Android search button is nowhere to be seen, and the back and menu buttons are touch-sensitive. The only physical button on the front of the device is the home key. There's a thin semicircle of transparent plastic around the home button, and this illuminates whenever you have an unread text or email. It also glows during charging just to let you know that you're being topped up. There's only two physical inputs on the Xperia Ray. The power button located at the top of the phone next to the 3.5mm headphone socket and the volume rocker. On the other side to the volume rocker is the micro USB charging and data port which sadly lacks a cover to prevent dust and dirt from getting in. The Xperia Ray's narrow screen can make it hard to browse the net, but its high resolution and nippy browser cover the problem somewhat. We're pleased to announce that the Ray supports Adobe Flash, so you can play videos and interactive elements in the browser. Yay! As a mid-range Android device, the Sony Ericsson Xperia Ray is fantabulous. Android 2.3 delivers a great experience and the phone's 8 megapixel camera is brilliant and it also offers HD video recording and impressive performance in low light conditions. The only bone we have to pick is the 3.3 inch screen. I'm Amy Parker Williams of CNET UK and this is the Sony Ericsson Xperia Ray.